person speaking, is speaking about. To me, it was just my friend. Okay, I'll let you in my life, let you guide me in a few things, fine. Um, but our relationship got deeper, and I'm a girl that likes to be friends first with someone, and then I'll get into a deeper relationship with them. So that's how it was with Jesus. Like, he, I feel as though I'm so close to him, like, I look at him, he's like my boyfriend. You know, not in this, like, romantic, like, weird way. But to me, I feel like he's my boyfriend. So hopefully as I continue to speak about him, you'll understand why. Um, first of all, he was very attractive. I'm not, I don't know what he looked like, you know. Um, maybe he looked like that, maybe not. But either way, I know he was attractive. Why? Because a lot of people followed him. A lot of people listened to him and really took in his warm, dynamic personality. Um, obviously, he was attractive in a sense. Otherwise, people would ignore him. You know, I'm not talking about physical looks. I'm talking about just a certain aura that he brought about whenever he walked anywhere. Um, so he was attractive. I like my boyfriend's attractive. Um, he was strong. He was strong in mind. He was a 12-year-old boy speaking with um, teachers in the temple when his parents were walking and they noticed he was gone. I don't know if you guys know the story. They're like, where's Jesus? I thought he was with you. No one thought he was with you. And they went to the temple. And there he was, talking to the teachers, you know, having conversation with them as a child. So he, you know, he's, he's a smart kid, you know, and so he grew up to be a smart man. And um, so he's strong in mind. He's strong in body, too, because he was able to uh, fast for 40 days in the desert, you know. you got to be have a lot of willpower to do that. Um, he was really down to earth. He wasn't this lost soul wandering about. He was really straightforward. He knew what he was on earth for. He knew what he was saying to people, and he just, he was a straight shooter, you know? Um, he is a great leader, like I said, attractive. Um, he knew how to call people in a way that just made them want to follow him. I mean, he's walking down by the water, and he sees fisher, fishermen. And he's like, yo, you, Germs, come here. Arlene, come here. And then they were just like, okay. You know, but in this case, back in the day, it was, you know, Simon Peter and um, blanked out the other guys that he called. <laughs> like, who else did he call? Called uh, many other, I can't even think of their names. I just blanked out and I had it in my head, sorry. But you know what I mean? Like, he would just walk, and he would call them by name, and they drop it everything, because he said, hey, I can make you fishers of men, watch, come follow me. And they're like fishing, and they're like, all right, let go. Like, who could do that? You know, I wish I had that kind of power. Like, hey, Siggy, let's go. And if she's busy doing something, usually people say, oh, hold on, let me finish this first, or oh, okay, I'll meet up with you in a second. But to have the kind of power for someone to just be like, all right, cool, I'm dropping my profession to go follow you, and I have no idea where we're going, that's pretty crazy power to me. Like. I'm, He's very magnetic and a great leader in that sense. Um, he had this authority, this strong authority. He was able to heal people. You know, we hear stories like he was able to heal the sick, the deaf, the blind, you know, the lepers. He um, was able to, he has this like power over nature. You know, when they were in a boat and there was a storm out and they're like, Jesus, what's going on? He came out and he was like, okay, storm, stop. Storm, stop. And they were like, whoa, who is this guy? Nature listens to him. You know, like, and this is for real. You know, this guy was for real. He had that kind of authority over people, over nature, but it was very simple, like, very simple but strong leadership. But even with all that power, he was a very humble man, you know? And I think that's really attractive, too. Like, he wasn't, he had this ability to do whatever he wanted, in a sense. But he wasn't going to say, at the end, okay, make me king, you know? And his followers would say, why don't you, you know, lead us to this, to something and just be this king and be this great political leader. And he was like, no, that's not my thing. That's not why I'm here. He knew his role and he stuck to it. And he didn't let everything come get to his head. He knew what he could do. He knew the power he had over people. He knew the power that he could have. But because Jesus was very cool man, he really just took his role to heart and he was like, nope, I'm here to heal, to share the love of, you know, to share my love with others, like the love of God, and 
and to save you all from your sins, you know, without saying that that's why he was on earth. So those are his super, you know, awesome characteristics for me. Like, oh, I love that in a guy, and I love it in Jesus because it was in Jesus. Oh, and he was really human too. He showed emotion. He was really loving and caring, but he also had his days. You know, there was a time when they were gambling in the temple, right? And he's like, what are you guys doing in my father's house? And he got mad, and he turned over tables, and he was, like, getting really upset, and he was really offended. So it shows he had human emotions. You know, even right before he had to die on the cross, he was scared. You know, that's a human emotion. And he said, oh, God, if I don't have to do this, you know, Father, if I don't have to do this, please, I don't want to. But I mean, if you want me to, I will. But please, if I don't have to, don't. You know, like he had that back and forth. He had his moment. And that's just a human quality. So above everything that, every power and everything that he had in him, he still had that human emotion because he was created as human. You know, he wasn't brought to earth on some spaceship like Superman crashed and then all of a sudden he's someone's baby. I mean... He was born in a very natural birth, and he came, just a regular person, and he had a very simple life, you know. So, so that's, those are the qualities of Jesus that I see that, I don't know, to me, I feel like no one has ever showed that side of him to me before. You know, I hear about all the miracles and all these great wonders and what he could do for my life, but I guess it was nice to have someone break it down for me to see, oh, he was human. You know, and he loved us, and he was just being simplistic in all his ways. So, what? Jesus is, is God, you know? He's, he's, he, people can say, oh, he claims to be God, you know? Like, he came to earth, but he is, you know? And, and what does this mean for us? You know, he's, he's God. How do we know that? Because he said he was. Like, when they were asked, he was asking, he was with his friends, right? He was all asking, oh, so who do you say that I am? And, you know, they're going around, and, oh, you're, you know, prophet or messenger or whatever. And someone called it out and straight up said, oh, you're the son of God. He's like, yeah, you know, I am. Like, he was starting to reveal who he was and his purpose slowly, you know, just enough for them to, to see that he was on earth more than just to hang out and heal people. Um, but even God himself had said, this is my son, you know, listen to him at a time where people could see um, a miracle, as, such as the rising of Lazarus. If you guys don't know, there was another guy that he had died, and um, they, his sisters were weeping, and Jesus were like, why are you guys sad? You know, like, oh, Lazarus died. And he was like, no, don't worry, I got this, like, whatever. And he, he performed this miracle and brought this man back to life, only so he could truly say, because of the will of my father, and I want you guys to know that there is a God, I'm the son of God, and this is, like, the power that he, he can have, you know, that he has, not he can have, that he has. Um, so those little things is what had, um, I guess, added character to him in his time. I mean, if you think about it, when you were, if you were back in the day, back in Jesus' time, would you, I mean, if you saw this guy that was just doing all these miracles, I don't know. I don't know how I would handle it. I, I don't know if I would think he was weird, if he was a freak show. Like, who is this guy, you know? And I understand why some of the people were saying, oh, you know, you can't, can't say you're doing it in the name of God. You know, like, that's blasphemy. But every time that someone tried to call him out, he like had something very simple to say back, not in this like sarcastic way, but in a loving way, that showed other people to say, oh yeah, he is the son of God. You know, slowly people were starting to see that he was more than just, more than meets the eye. Sorry, that quote came into my head, but he's more than meets the eye. You know, this simple man who had human emotions also had the power to, beyond healing, I mean, save the world. Like, what? Who is this guy? You know, it's crazy. So, um, I 